Hey everybody, welcome back. It's good to see you here again for another video, this time being for someone else. Another channel named Dragon Eye Creations asked me to come up with something for her project that she's gonna do on her channel. And yes, it just so happens that that's my wife's channel, but that's awesome because she wanted me to do this for her and I think this turned out great. Guys, look at this. This is a lover's, or it's going to be a lover's swing. <laughs> Made out of some trees, we got some mushrooms, we got some moss, we got some grass on here. This turned out really cool and I can't wait to see what she comes up with to add to this. What do you think guys? I think it turned out great. Let's go to the video, I'll show you how I did it. All right friends, to start off we're going to use a piece of MDF sheeting here and this is going to be the base for the whole project. So I just lined up a couple of pieces of XVS foam, just wanted to see where I want to lay the trees. And then I got to work cutting up the foam. So just using a straight edge, a ruler, a razor, and just cutting up some square blocks. That's all this was really. And then after that was all cut up and ready to go, that's when I started forming the trees, the trunks. And this was actually a pretty easy thing to do. Basically taking off all the corners of the piece. So starting off with the first four corners, and now you see there's two corners where I had just cut. So I'm gonna cut those off and then I'm gonna cut the other corners and basically turn it into somewhat uh, the look of a tree. So after that was all done, Got the basic look of the tree done. I wanted to, on the one uh, tree, I wanted to have kind of like a little bit of rot on the very top. You know, sometimes the, the, the middle of that top part of a, a trunk or a stump kind of gets eroded away or, or whatever with animals. I wanted to have that look. So just a little bit of razor work cut into the top of that tree trunk and started gouging away at the inside of it. Kind of wanting to make this look a little bit more real than just a cut off tree, if you understand what I'm saying. So just gouged away at it and it turned out pretty good. Looked a little bit rough, which is exactly what I was going for. So now I just uh, started wanting to see where these would lie because these were not completely straight up and down, which is good because that wouldn't look very well. So I, Put it, positioned it to where I wanted it, and then basically just glued it to the MDF, glued these pieces of tree, these trunks, right to that MDF, and that is going to be the base. And now, using some of those pieces that I cut off from there, I'm going to hot glue these on, and these are to simulate the roots coming out of the tree. Um, and also staying out of the ground, you know, like the big knotty roots that you trip over in a forest, big tree um, roots. This is what the look I was going for because it, it gives this kind of, I don't know, kind of an enchanting uh, kind of feel to these trees. So, and I think that's what my wife wanted as well because, you know, gnomes are uh, in the realm of fantasy. So there we go. That's what it looks like. It looks pretty rough right now, but it's actually going to come out really, really good as soon as I start using the drywall compound. So again, just some more XPS foam. And what I'm doing here is I am cutting out the, the two branches, the two limbs that will cross over and will be basically the support for the swings. So as I did with the tree trunks, I'm going to do the exact same thing here. I'm going to start by cutting off all the corners of this XPS foam and that is going to make it turn into a rough cylindrical kind of shape just like the trunks. So I spent a little bit of time doing that and as you can see it came out really well and here I'm just I wanted a little bit more curve to it so I very gently started forming it and pressing it to have a little bit more of a curve. And no those are not bones <laughs> even though they look like it. <laughs> So I cut a little piece off the trunk just to get a little bit more surface area that I can uh, 
glue these limbs to. And again, just hot glue. That's all I used for pretty much this whole project, uh, other than the late stages of it. And this stuff works great. This is plenty strong for this type of thing. Um, you know, the, she's not gonna put a whole lot of weight on, on the limbs. Um, so this is fine. This is gonna hold up just fine. Hey everybody, if you're enjoying this video, please do me a favor. Hit the like and subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. Let's go back to the video. Okay, so now comes the drywall compound and this stuff is just awesome to work with. Uh, a little bit messy, but you know what? Who cares? The end result of this is awesome. And all I did here was I spread it on and I actually used a different tool this time. Um, this is just basically a, a, a pallet knife um, with a round edge and I actually found that this gave me better um, tree bark texture than anything else I've used and I didn't even use the edge of the tool I just used the very tip of it and just kept spreading it almost like a like icing on a cake and that turned out really really well I was actually really surprised at how it came out so after it was all dry which was basically the next day uh, I took some brown paint and Mod Podge and went throughout the whole surface of this getting a nice coat onto it giving a touch of extra strength so that none of those, none of the drywall compound will chip off um, when my wife does more work on it at later. So got this all done, made it look really, really nice. And you can see it's starting to come together here with that brown paint and Mod Podge. And there's the finished product. Looks great already. The next touch-ups will make it look unbelievably cool. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this aside, I'm gonna let it dry, and I'm gonna to go to work on the mushrooms that I 3D printed. I wanted a bunch of mushrooms to come out of the, uh, the ground right by the, uh, the, by the roots of the trees. I thought it was gonna look really cool, and again, it's gonna give it more of a fantasy sort of look. So painted these up nice and bright, some blue, yellow, red, brown, and then I added some white spots on the top of them just to give it a little bit more of a kick. And they really turned out pretty cool, especially when they're against the bark, the dark bark. It looks really, really good. So I'm gonna let those dry. I'm gonna add a little bit of white spots to them a little bit later. But for now, I'm gonna go on to the dry brushing. So I started off with a brown and uh, like a buttercream color mixed together, just a lightish one. And then I moved on to uh, just the yellow buttercream color and that really made it pop even more. So I had a couple of different layers of dry brush on there. Makes it, gives it a little bit more depth, makes it look a lot, lot more interesting. And as you can see here now with the final dry brush that was done, you can see the texture and the detail on all that bark. Oh, it looks really, really good. So after that was all done, added a little bit of black wash to the whole thing. And as you know, this gives it some more depth. You still get the, the dry brush showing through there. I am, however, going to add a tiny bit of white dry brush after this is all dry just to give it that little bit extra pop. So then I went ahead and I put glue down on the surface and then I went over the whole thing with four millimeter static grass. And this was the base layer to give a, a nice grassy look to this project. And then I took some 12 millimeter um, static grass and I just kind of dabbed it into some glue. Wanted a little bit little bit of uh, a, a different height uh, th thing going on with the different grasses because I'm also going to have mushrooms. I'm also going to have um, some shrubs. So this is going to make it look really, really cool. And now just adding a little bit of glue. And as you can see here, this was one of the shrubs I made. I added a little bit of um, red and yellow uh, very fine flocking to simulate some flowers 
on the brush, uh, the bushes, and they turned out really, really good. So it looks really nice. And there we go, adding our first mushroom. Yeah, that looks really good. All right, guys, so here's the final product. I hope you like it. I hope my wife likes it. She's already said that she kind of does. So this is, uh, this is the end of the project, guys. I will see you again soon for another one. You guys have yourselves an awesome day.